so in the previous videos uh, when we were using arrow dump to actually capture the packets we remember that we were able to discover uh, all the APs around us and also the clients which are connected to those APs uh, and and the MAC addresses for those uh, of those devices which are connected to those Wi-Fi networks or the APs uh, so now that we are on a network we can actually gather more information uh, about the clients or devices which are connected to uh, the same network uh, on which we are connected actually so we can uh, actually uh, now use many different programs uh, or softwares or tools uh, to determine uh, some more information uh, about the devices which are connected to our network so in the gathering uh, information phase uh, we are going to use three different programs uh, and we will try to gain as much information we can uh, gain about those devices so we can have uh, the, uh, the information that what operating system they are running uh, or what uh, vulnerabilities they have or what ports they have opened or for example if we are uh, running uh, those programs or tools on, on a router so we can know that what uh, manufacturer or, uh, or vendor uh, the router is uh, and, and, uh, and some more stuff about that. So the first program uh, we are going to use is Nest Net Discover. So NetDiscover is a very simple tool and it, it only gives us uh, some little, little information about the clients uh, like it can tell us about their IPs, that uh, which IPs those, de uh, those devices are using, uh, it can tell us the MAC addresses of those devices uh, and sometimes it also gives us the, the vendors or manufacturers of those, of those devices. So and it also tells us that uh, how far those devices are from the router. So uh, the the method of using it or uh, is very simple. You can see just we just write the net discover the the name of the tool, uh, then the interface. Uh, or, uh, uh, this is the interface of our of our uh, actually the uh, the wireless adopter, and then the range we specify the range that uh, what range we actually want it to uh, scan. So uh, here is the example and it will get more clear when we do it on the Kali machine. Uh, so let's get into Kali and see how it is done. So now I am going to show you actually uh, that my uh, wireless adopter is actually in, in managed mode and we are not running it, uh, it on monitor mode because we don't need monitor mode anymore. And now I am going to connect to a network actually. So let's go to Wi-Fi settings and here is the rogue ap and in the in the last section uh, we saw that how we can actually uh, succeed it to gain its uh, its password actually i am going to put the password here which is meta supplied and then i will connect connect with it so if i if config it here and i can see that my wlan 0 is on 192.168.1.104 so this is the uh, IP address of my of my machine which is assigned to my to my Kali machine so I'm going to actually clear it and now we, we will look into net discover so the tool is very simple we just type in net discover uh, then we give it the interface which is WLAN 0 which is running on managed mode uh, and then the range so the range is 192.168.1.1 uh, so I'm going to explain what this is. Uh, so <clears throat> in a network range, there are actually uh, 255 devices can be connected and it starts from 192.168.1.0 then it goes to 1.1, one, uh, one, one one, then 1.2, then 1.3, uh, then it keeps going up to 2, 254 actually. So I am actually telling it here that I want to scan the whole network range all the network range from 192.168.1.0 to 192.168.1.254 so this is what i am telling it to do so uh, that is how we write it if we want to scan the whole network range uh, and i am now going to press enter so it starts uh, to actually scan the network for me so here uh, we can see that we have the the results here and it tells us that uh, it got three hosts from it and there is one device the, and it, it has this MAC address this is my router actually 
uh, and my router is on 192.168.1.1 this is my router and it is a TP-Link router uh, and then it is telling me that there is another device which is connected to it which has a IP of uh, 192.168.1.100 this is the MAC address and this is a Motorola device this is actually my mobile phone so it is telling me that Motorola Mobility LLC this is the name of the company uh, then there is another device which is 103 this is the MAC address and it is also telling me the vendor so uh, net discover is a very simple tool and it actually discovers uh, some little little information and we can this IP address this IP address is actually uh, a very useful information we can then further scan uh, this IP address using some other tool like nmap or any other or zenmap uh, we can put the IP and then we can gain more information uh, about these devices and then see how we can actually try to hack into them so we are going to look into two more tools after this uh, and uh, you will be surprised about all those attacks we can do uh, once we are on the network and you can see that I am on this network and now I'm going to run attacks uh, on the devices which are connected to this network.